All right, in this video, we're going to do another application involving the law of sine. So suppose you're on a hill and you can see two buildings in the distance, uh, and we know the buildings are six miles apart. If you're 3.2 miles from one building and the angle between the two lines of sight to these buildings is 30 degrees and 30 minutes, we want to know how far you are from the second building. So I made a little rough sketch here of kind of what's going on in this situation. So. Again, we've got our two buildings, they're six miles apart. Uh, to one of the buildings, you're 3.2 miles away. And we know that the angle, uh, the, uh, the angle between the two lines of sight is 30, 30 degrees and 30 minutes. So again, we just want to find the, the distance to the second building. So I'm going to make a, just kind of redraw my, my, my triangle here a little bit. Okay, so you're at six miles. We're trying to figure out this distance d. Uh, this is 3.2 miles, uh, and we know that this is again 30 degrees and 30 minutes. Okay, so to use uh, the law of sines, we're going to have to do a couple things here. Um, first off, we're given this angle and this side length. We're given this side length, which means we can deduce this angle over here. Maybe I'll call that angle A. Once we figure out angle A, we can then figure out this other angle that's missing. Maybe I'll call it capital D. And then from that, we can use again the law of sines to figure out the, uh, the side length for little d, which is the distance, which is what we're interested in. Um, one thing too, so, okay, so let's see. So let's first figure out uh, angle A. So a couple things here. So we could do um, so sine of angle A over uh, its opposite side length, which would be 3.2. That's going to equal sine of 30 degrees. <clears throat> but what we have to do, we've got 30 degrees and 30 minutes. Remember that there's uh, 60 minutes. So 60 minutes equals uh, one degree. Well, we've got. 30 minutes out of a total of 60 minutes. So actually what that's going to give us is one half of a degree or 0.5 degrees. So really we can write 30 degrees. Um, I should uh, not even put the degree there yet. We can write that as 30.5 degrees. So 30 degrees and 30 minutes is the same thing as 30.5 degrees. Um, all over the length opposite that, which is just going to be 6. So now what I'm going to do is just multiply both sides by 3.2, by 3.2. So we'll get sine of A equals sine of 30.5 degrees over 6 multiplied by 3.2. So let's uh, calculate this here. So let's see, 30.5, if we do sine of 30.5, I'm getting that to be roughly 0 0.508 after rounding. Again, over 6 multiplied by 3.2. So 0 0.508 uh, divided by 6 multiplied by 3.2. I'm getting this to equal roughly 0.271. So now we have sine of A. Sine of A equals 0.271. So we'll just take the inverse sine of both sides. And if we take the inverse sine of both sides, we'll just simply get that A equals, well, the inverse sine of 0.271. So again, let me throw this in the calculator. So 0.271 inverse sine. I'm getting A to be roughly equal to 15.7 degrees after rounding here a little bit. Okay, so let's kind of update our triangle here a little bit. So again, this was length 6. We now know that this is 15.7 degrees. Um, this was 30.5 degrees, we said. We know that this is a length of 3.2. And again, we're getting closer because now what we can do, again, we're interested in figuring out this length d. 
Well, we know that the angles inside of the triangle add up to 180. So if we do 30.5, I think we were calling this capital D, so 30.5 uh, plus 15.7 degrees, if we add those together, I guess that's going to give us, let's see, so we would get 45 and another 1.2, so that'll give us 46.2 degrees. Well, if we take 180 degrees and subtract away 46.2 degrees, I believe that should give us 133.8. Okay, looks okay to me. So let's see, so this angle, capital D, that's going to have measure 133.8 degrees. And again, now we can just simply use the law of sines to, uh, to figure out our, our missing link, D. So, okay, so it says little d over sine of 133.8 degrees. And now it doesn't matter what side we relate it to. Um, I'm going to relate it to the original, uh, the, the, the first two sides we were given, so 6 over sine of 30.5 degrees. So all we have to do now is we can multiply both sides by sine of 133.8 degrees. We'll multiply the uh, right side by that as well. So on the left side, we'll just be left with our value for D. We'll have 6 over sine of 30.5 degrees times sine of 133.8 degrees. And let's see, I think we said sine of, uh, let's see, we said sine of 30.5 degrees. That was 0 0.508. So we have 6 over 0 0.508. Um, I'll plug in the value. We'll get the value for sine of uh, 133.8. So sine of 133.8, I'm getting that to be 0 0.722 after rounding. All right, so now we just simplify a little bit more. So 6 times 0.722, and then we can divide all of that by 0 0.508. I'm getting that to be 8. 5, 3 after rounding. So I think everything originally was in miles. So it looks like, uh, based on all the original given information, um, I don't know where it's at now, uh, we can use our picture here. So again, the buildings were here. Um, it says this distance that we've now found is going to be 8.53 miles.